So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Atma Karka through houses. And we're going to start this particular series with Jupiter as your Atma Karka, meaning what happens when Jupiter has the highest degree in your birth chart being closest to the 30th degree mark. And this does not include Rahu, Ketu, Uranus, Neptune, or Pluto. Okay, so don't include any one of these planets. So if you do not know, if you have this particular position, and what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, which house it's in, for that, check out the links here, karisastrology.com, where you'll really really find my books, reports, consultations, and link to my academy, Magha Vedic Astrology Academy, where I'm currently teaching the Dandinari course. And today we're going to be doing... Uh, actually sun within the bha chakra sun in the houses of the nadi simple it's just it's, it's easy um so jupiter as much as you guys thought you know i'm gonna go on to the moon or i'm gonna go on to something else no jupiter i mean let's let's talk about jupiter we always go with sun moon mercury this and that i just want to i want some change so because I want to be also excited, right, about the series. And Jupiter is something that I have really, really understood deeply. Okay, throughout the years, very deeply. See, Jupiter represents, if you really want to know in esoteric terms, the heavy one. The one with the heavy gravity that comes down. It just... It's like it's just, you know, like the heavens are coming down and it's going to be heavy. That's Jupiter. That's heaviness. Jupiter is also you. This is another reason why I wanted to cover this. Because this is also becomes part of the Nadi. Nandi Nadi. Is that Jupiter is you. And Jupiter is something alive. Which is the Jiva which is something that has current in it, the breath. See, breath is just oxygen. Okay, here's the thing. The day science takes out prana and separates prana from oxygen, you will see you won't be able to survive 10 seconds breathing oxygen. But if prana is in the water somehow, that same prana, put it in the water, you put your head, you'll be able to breathe. This is why Jupiter is that current, the prana. This is why you will also see Jupiter, which represents children. Why is it that when you have checked with a doctor that your eggs are healthy, your husband's sperm is healthy, or vice versa, why aren't you having kids? It's because your egg and sperm does not have a current in it. That current hasn't come in. It's like an iPhone. You can make the brilliant app for an iPhone, but if iPhone doesn't turn on, what's the point of anything? Same thing happens here. So Jupiter represents this prawn within us. Something that makes me move my hands. You know, something that makes me be more animated with you. But now it is the Atmakarka. So then there is a difference. Because now what happens is, Jupiter is what? Besides you, besides children, besides the prana. Jupiter is also guru. A guru, a teacher. The what, and not just a teacher or a professor. It's the wise one. It is the wise one. So when it's the Atmakarka in the first house of your chart, you will realize this, and I am telling you right now, I will see people who will say this. This house is no longer about you. This house is no longer about you. And once you put two and two together, you'll be like, that's right. Of course, it's not going to be. There's no magic trick here. When the guru is here, when the guru appears, Right? We appeared. We're the first house. Guru just appears. Is Guru there to seek fame, fortune, money, 
praises for anybody. And I'm talking about real gurus. None of that. Their simple job is, I'm here for you. I'm here to teach this half sleep and sleeping unconscious population and let me awaken them. Because I know darkness is doing its job to put darkness upon you. That's the balance. And I'm here to balance the other side out. So now in the first house, this person cannot take care of themselves. This person cannot focus on their appearance. This person will not be able to uh, go for having appreciation for themselves. Why isn't anybody praising me? Why isn't anybody doing this? Because you are supposed to give all of that to the other people. You're supposed to make someone else happy. You're supposed to make someone else uh, feel beautiful about themselves. You're here to teach the lessons to the other. And it'll be different if Jupiter is not your Atmakarka. So you can't look at this in a regular way. Of just Jupiter in the first house, this and this happens. No, we're looking at Atmakarka. The soul significator. So for a guru, this, this is no longer your house. Through you... Other people will have to be catered. Otherwise, you will feel lost in life. You'll feel unaccomplished in life. But anything happens. The moment you start serving the others, especially with Jupiter is what? Wisdom, knowledge, which means what? Ha Jupiter as the Atma Karka and the Ascendant has to go through the hardest lessons in life. Till the third cycle of Jupiter comes in. Which is from the age of 25 to 37. So till the first 25 years. Will be the toughest year for this person's life. I don't care if you were born in a billionaire family. Multi-millionaire family. High, high upper class family or poor family. Okay. Look at some of these kids. Billionaire kids who are going through therapy, rehabs, drug problems. Anger problems, not wanting to do anything. There are kids like that. Hundreds and hundreds of kids. Because if their Jupiter is the Atmakarka, and they don't know this fact, and they're like, I want everything for myself. I want to drive my dad's Bentley and his Rolls Royce. I want to get the attention. I want to wear the best clothes. Because that's how I feel. The whole the, the, the life that is like going up, 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 up starts to go down. Now, does this mean that you, those who are aware, have to give up everything? No. The, you just, once you're aware, you wear nice things. You go for achievement, but you cannot find your achievement until someone else is benefiting through you. Then you, for example, the, if there's an astrologer. Who has Jupiter as the Atmakarka, planet with the highest degree? You'll be like, of course, their job is to help the clients. Their job is to help the clients. Their job is also to help another fellow astrologer to become successful. That's their job. This house is no longer theirs. And that means it's a guru, it's, it's a teacher. You're here to make other people astrologers. You're here to show that astrologer, these are the techniques. These are the, the hidden things. Do this. And, you, and guess what, what that means then, if Jupiter is the Atmakarka. You do it without selfish uh, reasons. Selfish accomplishment. Meaning, you give me this money and I'm going to give you this. You can't do that most of the time. You give it and say, if you want to learn, here I am. But here's the technique. This is the way the Atma Karka Jupiter will operate. If your Jupiter is not the Atma Karka and the Ascendant, you can be a, a greedy banker. Okay, that's, that's your karma. But you will not be a greedy banker with Jupiter and the Ascendant as Atma Karka unless you have made someone else rich. Then your wealth comes in. And even that, that banker would have risen from the bottom to the top. So, and whenever I see... Jupiter as the Atma Karka, I usually like to tell people, I know I'm giving you remedies, but you should 
try to just avoid remedies. Go through this struggle right now. You're 24 years old. Go through the struggle. You're 15. Go through the struggle. Forget all remedies. Just, just, just get as much pressure on you. Just get as much stress on you. Just get as much as those feelings where you feel just like a loser because you've lost so many battles. Because only then you will have the most wisdom. But if an astrologer or somebody else just steers you through, oh, you needed this perfect job, do this, this, and this vastu, put this and this on you, you'll get a job. What's the wisdom in that? See, I appreciate my life. I appreciate what I have accomplished in my life only because I was piss poor in my life. I used to see other kids, other rich kids as a child. Oh my God, they have this, they have this, they have this toy, that toy. I only have these two toys. Oh my God, I want to be successful. Oh my God, I want to achieve something. And this is why I achieved it. If I got everything in my life, okay, I want this, I got it. Mom got me this, got it. I got this, I got it. I would be like, I don't need to work hard. I don't need to have any of these feelings because I got everything I want. What is success? Yeah, this is success. You have to go through that feeling. That poor, as a poor kid, seeing that rich kid eat a cherry cake when you don't even have a half a banana in your hand. That is Jupiter as Atma Karka in the birth chart. So in the Ascendant, what happens is you have the most responsibility here. Because as a guru, every single person will come to you for knowledge, for wisdom. And if you reject them, this Jupiter becomes weak. If you give them, Jupiter becomes strong. You cannot look for your own self, uh, you know, uh, self-appeasement. You can't look for any self-accomplishments uh, here. If somebody genuinely comes to you, you know you have the most secret technique of astrology. Somebody meets you in person. Oh, I would love it if you can just show me something about how to find marriage. And you know you have a 10-second technique to find this person. This is how you find marriage quickly. You tell it to them and you move on. You cannot, you cannot have any ego when you have Jupiter as the Ascendant in Sagittarius. But then the other problem that happens, you know what a big problem here is? With Jupiter in the Ascendant, it's not about ego that happens with these people. In certain signs, there is enormous pride that comes into play about one's name and lineage. And that can also be a testament of their test in life. That let's see how you react. You're born in a Brahmin family. Your father's an IS officer. Your grandfather was an IPS officer. Great grandfather was a freedom fighter and received an honor from government. This is the lineage that I'm coming from. Who are you? I am from this family in my town. Everybody knows that. So we are very well-educated people. How can I help you? These are the things that Jupiter loves to do. And remember, Jupiter represents nose. Right? And what is the saying in India? Our nose got cut, meaning we are embarrassed and humiliated. The more this Jupiter does that as the Atmakarka the higher the percentage goes for them to be absolutely humiliated due to their pride of their lineage and family. See, there's a balance. You don't have to purposely always say and show off about your lineage. Somebody asks you, also, oh, what's your background? Well, I come from this family. You know, my dad was an IS officer. My grandfather was an IPS. But my interest is this, so I'm just doing this. That's what I am. And then once you go with this tone, the other person will be like, wow, this person is just, wow, the amazing person. Wish I had their family, wish I had this. But when you do something through more of that pridefulness, the other person will be like, oh my God, I'm, I'm suffocating, standing here for two minutes, listening to this person. 
and that's what will happen with this Jupiter as Atma Karka, especially the immature Jupiter. Until Jupiter gets humiliated because of their own pride, then you learn that other lesson. The other chapter is open. Ah, humiliation. You got your wisdom? Great. Go. And especially with Jupiter as the Atma Karka, uh, your children will become uh, one of the most important tasks for you. They are going to become your students in, within your life. You're going to have to teach them because you're going to get children who are going to need guidance and help. And you are going to now be the guru, whether you're a mother or father, you're going to be there. You're going to have to be there because they are not your children. They're actually your student from past life coming as your children. Okay. So anyway, guys, this was my analysis of uh, Jupiter in the Ascendant as your Atma Karka. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos. And if you want to know where your Jupiter is placed along with all your astrological details, check out the links here, kiarasastrology.com. Otherwise, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.